Hey everybody, today I am recording this video from my uh, new Chromebook, uh, Running Crouton, and I actually wanted to uh, talk about Crouton specifically. I installed it uh, partly because uh, screencasting in uh, Chrome OS seems a bit um, uh, limited. Uh, the frame rate was something like one to two frames per second. I'm running it on an Asus uh, C200, which uses one of the new uh, Bay Trail Centrino processors. And as you can see under Ubuntu, it runs perfectly fine. So if you guys want to see, there is a, a quick article about um, my first impressions of the uh, Asus Chromebook. That's over at linuxbookpro.com. You can check that out. Um, you could also uh, find me on uh, YouTube and, and various social networks, so the links are over on the website. But uh, today I'm going to be talking about Crouton. And if you haven't heard of Crouton, it is a, uh, a Chromium OS universal CH root environment. Essentially what you do is you run um, Ubuntu or Debian directly on top of um, Chrome OS. So if I was to log out or shut down, it would actually return me to Chrome OS where I have just the, uh, the Chrome OS shell running in the background. Now there are problems with this as a, uh, um, a desktop replacement or a operating system replacement. So I'm going to actually address those right now. The problem is, is that uh, uh, security is, is not strong in this one. You can go into a guest session. Um, this is not my uh, desktop, but this is just an example. Let's say you go over here and hit browse as guest. A person can pull up the Chrome uh, terminal, which is simply Control-Alt-T. It's uh, very easy to get that to pop up. And they can go through your previous commands just like you would in any other Linux terminal by hitting the up key. So they could easily get into your shell by doing that. That would give them admin access because in order to get Crouton to work, you have to enter developer mode. And developer mode itself is what disables a lot of the security features uh, like encryption, and uh, the root makes the root environment possible. So anyway, you click, <coughs> excuse me, you click over to uh, browse as guest and you can enter into the uh, Chrome shell, whereas then you could go through the previous commands that the previous user used in the Chrome shell. There's not much you can do, so it's, uh, it's very limited as to why a person would do that, and obviously this would be a reason. And they can open up the Ubuntu desktop right here, uh, right on top of Chrome OS. Now the problem with that is when you get to Ubuntu, you uh, are not pre pre uh, pre uh, pre presented with any kind of uh, uh, login screen whatsoever. It opens Ubuntu uh, up as though it's an application on top of the system. So there's a big uh, security uh, potential uh, flaw potential there if you're um, using uh, you, um, Ubuntu or any other Linux distribution under this uh, uh, Crouton shell because uh, all your bookmarks, everything that's on your web browser, everything you save in Ubuntu or Debian will be available to anyone that browses through your uh, system and activates your Linux installation. So that's really what I want to talk about. Now the second thing was is that the uh, performance is actually pretty good. You can take a look here. I'm using one of the, uh, the, the uh, Asus C200 has a Bay Trail uh, dual core processor. And you can see even with uh, screencasting running, my temperature is well below uh, um, middle, uh, as low as 31 degrees for uh, the uh, GPU and some of the other items are between uh, 37 and 47 degrees, well under the uh, critical level. Um, if you look at the system resources, on the other hand, you can see that uh, um, Ubuntu is using about 825 megs. One moment. So it's actually very frugal on the, uh, the processing. Now, I'm not sure if this is picking up the processing of uh, the Chrome shell itself, so it's probably running on top of that. So I'm probably maxing out the RAM. Let's see. I don't see. Wait a minute. Um, hold on, let me get rid of my face here. Well, I do see references to, um, 
I thought I saw references to Chrome in here, but you could check over there. Oh, here we are. Yeah, so Chrome is rendering um, some information here. Uh, so you can see that it's actually uh, pulling up that information. So that is really, uh, really cool. So you can see that it's actually uh, not using too much information to keep, uh, keep things moving. Now the function keys are a little funky since you're still running Ubuntu within Chrome Shell. Um, if you start hitting any of the function keys, you might get it to crash. So essentially you're running two desktop environments on the uh, system. So it is potentially unstable. So anyway, uh, I'm very impressed with how well uh, uh, Crouton works in uh, Ubuntu. I've installed the, uh, uh, or in, um, sorry, in Chrome OS. And you have a choice between uh, Ubuntu 14.04 and uh, 12.04. So they, they support whatever version is currently live at the time. And then also the uh, currently supported Debian installations can be used if you prefer that. But those are the only ones supported at this time. Um, if you're looking for a more secure uh, uh, environment to run uh, Ubuntu or any other Linux distribution on your uh, Chromebook, go ahead and uh, search over on YouTube. There's a few uh, uh, services available. One is called uh, Crewbuntu, although it looks like it hasn't been updated in about 16 months. So uh, it may no longer be stable. Uh, keep your eyes open. I'm sure what we'll start seeing is that these very capable Centrino processor Chromebooks are, um, which by the way, are awesome on battery life. I mean, we're looking at 28% and I've got all this stuff running and I've got two hours left at that. You multiply that by four and that's easily over eight hours. And that's even with this intensive load. So anyway, check it out. Maybe uh, install uh, Ubuntu on top of your system. Keep in mind though that since you're installing uh, a uh, Linux distribution on top of uh, a Chrome uh, desktop, that you could risk uh, ruining the bootloader. The nice thing about Crouton is that you could test out these Linux distributions, see how they function with your system and uh, the hardware. See if there's any glitches and uh, do a little bit of research before you commit to uh, um, having it boot directly into it. And, and um, you know, there's always the risk of damaging the bootloader. And when you do that, there's always a possibility that the BIOS might not work with uh, the uh, res restoration. So once I'm done here, I'm going to uh, um, uninstall Crouton. I'm going to do a power wash that's going to return my system back to uh, default and re-encrypt the uh, hard drive. So anyway, uh, go ahead and leave some comments below. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on Crouton. And I thought I would just mention it to, mention to you guys the, uh, the security risk of using Crouton. So definitely read the entire uh, GitHub um, page on information. And if you do install Crouton, always go through their page and, and install the uh, most recent link that they provide in their text. So somewhere on this page right here, they will provide the latest version. You'll want to have the latest version because they're going to make some fixes uh, over, over time. All right, guys. Uh, nice talking to you again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Go ahead and uh, follow me at uh, YouTube slash uh, Joe for Scott or uh, Linux Book Pro on most of the old other social networks. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.